What's up YouTube? Welcome to your very first WX Python tutorial. And if you're wondering, all right, what happened to the rest of the Python tutorials? Well, actually that list was getting a little too long, so I decided to separate my WX Python tutorials from my regular Python tutorials. So in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about coding WX Python. And if you're watching this tutorial for the first time and you don't even know what WX Python is, I will put a link to the right hand side in my description box to show you guys how to download and install WX Python. So again, I'm sorry that this is first tutorial and that isn't the first tutorial, but hey, that's life. So just deal with it. So if you want to know how to download and install WX Python, then look in the right hand side and I will put a link. But for now, I'm just going to show you guys how to use it. So for the rest of you guys, we already downloaded and installed WX Python, so we want to import that into our program. So just go ahead and press import WX, and this allows us to use WX Python. The next thing we want to do is build a class, and I'm going to name mine Bucky, and it's going to take the parameter of WX.frame. Now frame is a class in WX, and it's going to be the parameter in every application we build uh, for now pretty much so anytime you make a class or at least this main class make sure that it takes the argument of WX frame and this is gonna allow you to use frames in WX next go ahead and put a colon a basic colon not a semicolon and now we want to go ahead and build our constructor function now we want to build our constructor function or initialize it or initializing function because we want this to happen automatically. We don't want to happen. We don't want the user to run the application and have them press a button for it to run. We just want them to double click on it and boom, it starts up and runs. You see frames. So let's go ahead and name this. You have to name it underscore underscore i n i t underscore underscore. That's very important. Next, in your parameters, put self parent id. And now, the first um thing we want to happen is this wx dot frame dot underscore underscore i n i t underscore underscore now this also takes some parameters self parent id and now let's get to the fun stuff the next parameter it's going to take is the title of the window so i'm going to name my fray aka window so unless you guys hear me talking about frames like I have been I probably should have told you this before anytime I use the word frame it's what the Python people call a window why they name it two totally different things I don't know but a frame and a window is the exact same thing it's just if you're a computer nerd you probably call it a frame if you're a regular user you name it a window so if I say frame one time and window another time don't think I'm talking about two different things just know that I'm talking about the same thing so this title right here is what's going to show up right here. Again, mine says apples.py. That's what's going to show up right here. That's where the title shows up of your window or frame. The next parameter it takes is the size of the window or frame. So go ahead and put size equals. And sorry if I'm typing so I had to put a bunch of stickers on my keyboard for After Effects. But that's totally something different. So size equals 300 wide by 200 tall and I think I have nope I'm good so now we have our constructor function built and this is pretty much our basic frame that we have built so now we have a frame now we gotta go ahead and if we run this program right now nothing would show up because even though we built a frame we didn't tell our program to go ahead and show it yet so that's what I'm gonna do right now and to do this I'm gonna build a simple if statement now what am I about to type you don't really need to know what it does but you need to have it I'm gonna be going over it in the next couple tutorials but for now just type it and maybe I'll give you guys a basic uh, one two of what's going on you first need to build an application actually just do as I uh, 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 just uh I can't really type and talk at the same time so by simple app and again, this is what we're going to copy from all the rest of the tutorial, so don't delete this thing. Frame equals Bucky, and or whatever you named your class right there. Frame equals Bucky, and it's going to take the parameters of parent equals none. 
Make sure that none's in capitalize too. I believe it matters. And ID equal negative one. And frame, uh, let's see, dot show. And also app main loop with right there. So let's go ahead and save this. And before I keep talking, let's see if it runs or not. Go ahead and press F5 to run it. And let's go ahead and we see our frame right here, right there. So again, you can see the size is 300 pixels wide by 200 pixels tall. And the title is right here, frame AKA window. Now I showed you guys how to build it. Now let me talk to you guys one more time and show you what everything meant. We needed a class because everything that we need to work with in WX, it needs to be in a class. That's just how it is. The next thing we did is build this constructor method or constructor function. And what this happened is it let this frame automatically pop up. If we didn't build it inside a constructor function, we would have to like press a button or type something on our keyboard for a frame to pop up. Since this is our main application, we want it to pop up as soon as they run the program. So that's why we needed to put it in this weird thing called INIT. It stands for initial initialization, and it means this is the first thing that happens. Again, you put your title right here and your size right here. And now to this confusing thing. I'm going to give you guys the quick one-two of what this means. Every WX Python application needs two things, an application object and uh, it's like called a frame object or something like that. The application object pretty much runs your program and the frame object displays your program. So this is like the blood of your program. This is like the face of your program. It's pretty much the inner workings and what they see. So now that we got our application object and frame object, we could show the frame since that's what they wanted and run the main loop. This is uh, pretty much running the application. But again, all of this, you don't need to know for now, but you do need it in every application. So copy this, ignore it for now. This is more advanced stuff. What we're gonna be concentrating on in the next couple tutorials is how to add buttons and uh, menus and other cool stuff, other things called widgets to this. So again, um, this is your tutorial for now. Um, pretty much all you need to learn is how to add a title and how to resize your window and once you got that you're ready to move on to the next tutorial where I promise I'll be clearing everything up for you so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed your intro to WX and I will see you next tutorial